over there, right? What's your uh, background here in Hollywood? I grew up, sort of grew up uh, after high school in the in the entertainment industry with, at MGM Studios. And my mom worked there for 30 years, so I worked there for quite a long time and it was MGM Studios, it was really good to me. Basically I'm a songwriter and a singer, and so that's, that's primarily what I have been doing for the last like 30 years or so. But you have your friends, contacts back in the, on the studio lot? A lot. I have, uh, yes, I still know a lot of people at the studios. I know a lot of producers and a lot of them are gone now. Um, and actors, I've met, met a lot of actors as well. What brings you out to these Trump rallies? Trump, the fact that this country is so important and the liberty and the freedoms of this country are so important. My father was in World War II and as a, as a young girl I went with him to the Normandy coast and it was one of the first times I ever saw my father cry. And it was because he lost so many friends on the Normandy coast who were fighting for the freedom of this country. And it is shameful that this country has sort of become embedded with communism, which is really what socialism is, a, is it follows socialism. And that is what's happening. And that is what's happening because people are taking money uh, from China and they are they are they are turning in this country into a communist country and I will not let that happen and, and Donald Trump has been a patriot since since I ever first saw him with the Rona Barrett uh, interview he did and was asked if he would ever run for president I know but he still spoke so highly of this country and the love of, that he had of this country and he's still speaking for the love of this country. He doesn't even take a paycheck for being president. I appreciate that. And this is our country, we need to take it back because it's getting stolen from us, period. So how, do, uh, how does uh, Hollywood as an industry treat people who express their Republican or conservative uh, leanings? What happens to them is they get ostracized. Um, you know, we've got about, what, five maybe maybe five producers and five actors that we can name, maybe maybe seven, you know, counting Clint Eastwood, you know, Kevin Sorbo, Dean Cain. You've got uh, amazing, amazing, uh, courageous actors that are stepping out. And actually, you know, J Jim Caviezel, what a spiritual warrior he is for us. Because Trump has also brought God back in to our country. And along with Merry Christmas, he's brought, he's brought prayer back and and people feel very comfortable with that and that's what he is he's he's a savior for us in many ways to me and and our and Hollywood Hollywood is going by the wayside and it, it's kind of showing it's showing in the fact that nobody's really watching network television anymore everyone's on Netflix or cable and I'm doing a lot of Hallmark <laughs> to tell you the truth because I can stand it and our, our, our writers of our, of our network shows, they're so liberal. They, you know, they say these little things that they, that they just want to do it for their own little liberal people. They say these things and half the country turns it off. And they do turn it off. Trust me, they turn it off the shows. That's why they're, they're dying on the vine. As far as I'm uh -huh. How do you feel about uh, late night, the way the late night uh, talk shows have gone a totally uh, anti-conservative. You know what, I can't even talk about that because I don't watch them. I will not watch them. Did you ever? I used to watch Saturday Night Live. I used to watch Letterman. I used to watch Jay Leno. I used to watch all the, those guys. I, I mean, I realized who they were. And I, I mean, I thought they were funny before they got political. And once they got political, it's like, wait a minute. Why are you trying to persuade me? It was like, that just doesn't work for me. Didn't work. And still doesn't. But uh, Netflix now has uh, Susan Rice. Netflix has Susan Rice uh, on the board of directors. Now, of course, she's, uh, she's getting a role uh, in the administration. Um, what's the future under a, a prospective Biden-Harris Democrat administration for uh, uh, people getting an unbiased... Uh, independent view on mass media. 
I think that if they're unbiased, that they're going to either have to say, I'm a liberal and I back Biden and I back Kamala, or you're out because the liberals don't give you leeway. They don't give you leeway. And I think that that's quite obvious, especially with the way that everything's happening. They, they don't even, they don't want to hear your story. They don't want to hear your argument or your debate. As far as I'm concerned, they don't want it. So what do you think is going to happen to actors that are, that are conservative? They're going to be out. Producers, they're going to be, they're not, they're, they're not going to have a platform, but there will be producers like Clint Eastwood, I believe, that will still be producing. I think that there'll, there'll still be an underground uh, line of producers that will, that will put out decent and, and good things, and I, I hope so. I just hope that. I pray, for, I pray for Hollywood and I pray for our country.